Today on Nostalgia Head, we look back at the cast of the 1980s American action-adventure TV series, The A-Team. We'll revisit the actors who appeared in over four episodes during the show's five seasons and update them as of 2023. George Peppard played John Hannibal Smith. In 1983, Peppard was 54 years old. He was born on October 1, 1928. He died of pneumonia while battling lung cancer on May 8, 1994. He was 65 years of age. BAFTA nominee Peppard is also known for his starring roles in Breakfast at Tiffany's, The Carpet Baggers, and Banachek. His final screen role was in a 1994 episode of the crime drama TV series Matlock, where he played Max Morgan. Dwight Schultz played Howling Mad Murdoch. In 1983, Schultz was 35 years old. He was born on November 24, 1947, and is now 75 years of age. Stage, screen and voice actor Schultz has had an extensive career appearing in regional theater as well as Broadway. He has appeared in three Star Trek productions and voiced multiple animated series and video games. His most recent role was voicing Emperor Zhao in the animated TV series Dota Dragon's Blood. Dirk Benedict played Templeton Face Man Peck. In 1983, Benedict was 38 years old. He was born on March 1, 1945, and is now 78 years of age. Stage and screen actor Benedict is also a musician and author. He wrote the book, Confessions of a Kamikaze Cowboy, after he claimed to have cured his cancer through diet. Also known for his recurring roles on the 1970s TV series Chopper 1 and Battlestar Galactica, his most recent screen appearance was playing Stanley in the 2020 festive family drama movie Charlie's Christmas Wish. Melinda Coolia played Amy Amanda Allen. In 1983, Coolia was 28 years old. She was born on May 5, 1955, and is now 68 years of age. Coolia appeared in various television roles, predominantly throughout the 1980s and 90s. Her best known being the TV series Glitter, Knots Landing, and Brotherly Love. Her final screen appearance was in 2001, where she played the role of Anna in the drama movie Dying on the Edge. She is now an author and artist. Please remember to give the video a like and let us know your answer to the question at the end. Lance Legault played Colonel Decker. In 1983, Legault was 48 years old. He was born on May 2, 1935. He died from congestive heart failure on September 10, 2012. He was 77 years of age. Legault's first four feature films were uncredited roles in the Elvis Presley movies Girls Girls Girls, Kiss and Cousins, Roustabout, and Viva Las Vegas. He was also known for his musical talent and voiceover work. His final role was as a truck driver in the 2013 comedy drama film Prince Avalanche, which was posthumously released and dedicated to his memory. Carl Franklin played Captain Crane. In 1983, Franklin was 34 years old. He was born on April 11, 1949, and is now 74 years of age. Multi-award winner Franklin is now a producer, director, screenwriter, and filmmaker. His last acting appearance was in a 1992 episode of Roseanne, where he played Gil. He has went on to produce and direct over 40 films and TV series, his most recent being the 2022 biographical crime TV miniseries Dahmer Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story. Eddie Velez played Frankie Santana. In 1986, Velez was 28 years old. He was born on June 4, 1958, and is now 65 years of age. Velez served in the U.S. Air Force, and after his honorable discharge as a sergeant in 1982, he began acting on stage and as a stand-up comedian. He has went on to star in numerous TV and film roles, including Repo Man, Barringers, and True Blue, just to name a few. His most recent role was in two episodes of the 2022 crime drama TV series, The Cleaning Lady, where he played Sean. Robert Vaughn played General Hunt Stockwell. In 1986, Vaughn was 53 years old. He was born on November 22, 1932. He died from acute leukemia. On November 11, 2016, he was 83 years of age. In a career that spanned almost six decades, stage and screen actor Vaughn appeared in 230 acting roles, including The Young Philadelphians, The Magnificent Seven, and The Man from Uncle. 
He was nominated for a Golden Globe on four occasions and won a Primetime Emmy Award in 1978 for his role as Frank Flaherty in Washington behind closed doors. His final role was in the 2016 drama film Gold Star, where he played Carmine. Marla Heasley played Tanya Baker. In 1983, Heasley was 23 years old. She was born on September 4, 1959, and is now 64 years of age. Heasley, whose parents were successful entertainment managers, had no real interest in pursuing an acting career. However, she began working in commercials and had a couple of uncredited roles before landing her first named part in a 1982 episode of The Quest. Just over a decade later, she decided to quit acting, with her final screen role being in the 1993 comedy movie Amore, where she played Marge Apple. Bill Dyer played eight different characters. In 1983, Dyer was 59 years old. He was born on October 4, 1923. He died from heart disease on March 31, 2006. He was 82 years of age. Character actor Dyer was a longtime friend of Curly Joe Dorita from The Three Stooges, appearing in three of their films, and he also gave one of the eulogies at Dorita's funeral. He appeared in numerous films and TV shows, mostly in uncredited roles, with his final appearance being in the 1989 TV movie Trouble in the City of Angels, where he played a fisherman. Jack Ging played General Harlan Bull Fulbright. In 1983, Ging was 51 years old. He was born on November 30, 1931. He died of natural causes on September 9, 2022. He was 90 years of age. Before becoming an actor, Ging served in the U.S. Marine Corps and played college football. During his acting career, he amassed over 100 acting credits and had recurring roles in the TV series Tales of Wells Fargo, The Eleventh Hour, and Riptide, among others. His final screen role was in a 1994 episode of the comedy-drama TV series Wings, where he played coach Dan Maté. Judith Ledford played Carla. In 1986, Ledford was 24 years old. She was born on June 12, 1962, and is now 61 years of age. Ledford only appeared in a handful of roles between 1984 and 1997, with her most notable being the recurring role of Carla. She also made guest appearances in the TV series Cover Up, Dallas, and Simon and Simon. Her final acting credit was in a 1997 episode of Baywatch, where she played the role of Paige Kaminsky. She is now a realtor. Tony Ciccone played four different characters. In 1983, Ciccone was 23 years old. He was born on June 14, 1960, and is now 63 years of age. Ciccone appeared in several TV series, including Hardcastle and McCormick, Riptide, and Mike Hammer, before focusing on a career behind the camera as an editor. He retired from the film industry seven years ago, and now works as a marketing consultant within the auto industry. Mills Watson played Stryker. In 1983, Watson was 43 years old. He was born on July 10, 1940, and is now 83 years of age. Stage and screen actor Watson is best known for recurring roles in the TV series BJ and the Bear, The Misadventures of Sheriff Lobo, and Harper Valley PTA. He also appeared in the films Up in Smoke and Cujo. His last screen appearance was in the 1992 TV movie Gunsmoke to the Last Man where he played a horse trader. Ismael East Carlo played four different characters. In 1983, Carlo was 41 years old. He was born on January 29, 1942, and is now 81 years of age. After making his TV debut in a 1963 episode of General Hospital, Carlo has went on to appear in over 100 acting and voice roles. Recurring TV appearances include The New Adventures of Zorro, Santa Barbara, and Crime Story, just to name a few. His last role was in a 2012 episode of the action thriller TV series Undercovers, where he played Zigor Ivara. Red West played four different characters. In 1983, West was 47 years old. He was born on March 8, 1936. He died from an aortic aneurysm on July 18, 2017. He was 81 years of age. West was an actor, stuntman, and songwriter. 
He was also a close school friend of Elvis Presley, and became Elvis's personal bodyguard and driver, also appearing as an extra in 16 of Elvis's films. West had an extensive songwriting career, penning songs for Elvis, Pat Boone, and Rick Nelson among others. On screen, notable roles included The Wild Wild West, Flying Misfits, and Roadhouse. His final appearance was in a 2015 episode of Nashville, where he played a bar owner. Danny Wells played a film director. In 1983, Wells was 42 years old. He was born on April 7, 1941. He died from cancer on November 28, 2013. He was 72 years of age. Wells was an actor, voice actor, and composer whose career spanned four decades, collecting 120 acting credits along the way. He was well known for playing Luigi on the Super Mario Bros. Super Show and playing Charlie, the bartender on the comedy TV series The Jeffersons. He made guest appearances in numerous television shows and movies, with his last being in a 2013 episode of the crime drama TV series Rookie Blue, where he played Walter. Jim Boke played four different characters. In 1983, Boke was 44 years old. He was born on September 11, 1938. He died from leukemia on September 26, 2014. He was 76 years of age. Boke was a professional football player whose teams included Los Angeles Rams and Dallas Cowboys. He also worked as a bodyguard and as a physical education and English teacher. On screen, he had nearly 50 acting credits, with roles in MASH, Knight Rider, and Coach, among others. His last screen appearance was in the 2003 action crime drama film A Man Apart, where he played a bad cop. Ron Stryker played Sergeant Case. In 1985, Stryker was 27 years old. He was born on October 19, 1957, and is now 66 years of age. After his recurring role as Sergeant Case, Stryker only appeared in two more TV series, those being Riptide and Capital, before retiring from acting in 1987. Out with acting, he had been teaching yoga since 1980, and is now an author, speaker, yoga and meditation teacher, and the founder of Para Yoga. Mr. T played B.A. Baracus. In 1983, Mr. T was 31 years old. He was born on May 21, 1952, and is now 71 years of age. Known for his distinctive look, and I pity the fool saying, actor, wrestler, and television personality Mr. T is also best known for playing boxer Clubber Lang in the 1982 film Rocky III. He was also involved in professional wrestling, and was Hulk Hogan's tag team partner at the first WrestleMania in 1985. His most recent role was in the 2023 Skechers commercial, The Only T in Skechers, where he played himself. With a total of 98 episodes, The A-Team aired for five seasons, from January 1983 to March 1987. Who were your favorite characters, and did you have any favorite episodes? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.